Sure, there's nothing I can do, my reflective rice cake? No, my jade necklace must be here somewhere. It just has to be. Whee! I like this toy. I found it. Okay, okay. But what is it? That's so pretty. I've never seen anything like it. I found it in the garden. Don't worry, I won't take it. What are you going to do with it? Hmm. Go play with it. What is on your mind, my melancholy mushroom? I was thinking of my father, and I suppose it's made me a little sad. When I was young, my father would be away a lot on trips. I would wait by the window for his return. I was always so happy when he came home. <laughs> and sometimes he would bring me back wonderful gifts from his travels. Over the years, we have misplaced or even lost many of these small trinkets. But it seems now that I have lost the last and most precious gift he brought me. The little jade necklace. Not to worry, my melodious melon. I will have the entire palace searched until it is found. What you got there? That's really, really nice. I found it in the garden. It was all dirty, but I cleaned it up. Mind if we take a closer look? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, I don't want it. It's all yours. You know, finders keepers. Finders keepers? It's simple. You found it, you keep it. So, do you think I could have just a little itty-bitty look? Well, I guess so. Hey, guys! The cooks just tossed out some sweet-smelling fish. Fish treats? Let's go! There's nothing like a pile of fresh fish. Shigua, your jade necklace belongs to Tai Tai. It was a gift her father gave her when she was young. You have to return it. No, it's mine. But it's not yours. It's Tai Tai's. Finders keepers. I found it, I keep it. But what if someone found something that belonged to you? And you missed it very much. Wouldn't you want them to give it back? Hmm. Hmm. What 
am I supposed to do with you now? What a beautiful piece of jade. Finders keepers. You find it, <laughs> you keep it. Giving it back to Tai Tai is the right thing to do. How would you feel if you lost something special? Eat it, it's yours. It's not right, Shigua. Who's gonna miss it anyway? <laughs> what if it were yours? Um, I guess I should give you back to Tai Tai. But I'll sure miss you. Well, have you found it? I am sorry, Your Magistrate, but we have not found Tai Tai's missing necklace. Look harder! Search absolutely everywhere! Let not a stone nor pebble be left unturned! Oh. Well, it's time to find Tai Tai. Hey, where are you off to? I'm returning this to Tai Tai. Tai Tai, huh? Right now? That's a shame. Why? What do you mean? Well, I was just about to ask if we could borrow it. Hun Hun is having a party and... A party? With treats? Oh, yeah. Lots of treats. Yum. Wait a minute. What's all this got to do with the necklace? Right. Uh... Hun Hun wanted to wear it at her party and said you'd be invited if you let her borrow it. And if I do, I can come to the party? Well, okay. But just for a little bit, I really need to get her back to Tai Tai. Be careful! Hey guys, look! It flies! <laughs> should get it to Han Han now. Ugh. What's the rush? Han Han's party has just been canceled. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having a little fun. <laughs> Nothing to worry about now, my delicate daisy. It will be found. That's very sweet of you. But no matter what, I still have the wonderful memories of my father. Give it back, Wing Wing. You tricked her. She's just a little kid. We didn't trick her. She gave it to us. Hey, Shigua, you still hungry for some party mm -hmm. treats? <laughs> Sogwa, I think I have an idea to get the necklace back. Party treats. <laughs> yeah! All right! <laughs> you really think they'll trade the necklace for some fish? Yup! There's nothing like a pile of fresh fish. Grab one. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, more fish. A minute. She tricked us. The necklace. Ow! Sorry, Wing Wing. It slipped. I got it back. I got it. Whoa! Oof. <gasps> huh? <gasps> huh? <gasps> Tough break. Oh no! Tie tie. She'll be so mad. I can't give. 
give it back now. What do I do? But, but... There really are no buts. It's hers. I know it's hard, Chigua. But you can do it. Oh. Maybe I should just leave it here. Then Tai Tai won't know I broke it. <gasps> no. It's my job to make sure she gets it back. Broken or not, it's hers. Um. <gasps> my necklace! Oh, my necklace is found! It may not be whole, but even a piece of it brings back the many memories it whispers to me. Thank you, Shigua. Grace, I promise you'll have the most glorious new robe. I hope so. My banquet is one month away, and I expect to look even better than my usual best. What is all that commotion? It's those plain brown birds. How dare they interrupt us? Quiet, all of you! Huh? Uh-oh. Tai-Tai seems really mad. Dongla, over here! Let's go play! Who's that? It's my new friend, Xiaobao. His family just moved to our village. He's really cool. Coming! And who brought those useless birds here in the first place? They're not fit for a palace. Um, uh, well, my precious plum, I suppose the Swiftlets were here before we were. I want them removed. Not only are they noisy, but they are simply too plain. They must be banished from the province. Whoa! Anything for you, my lovely lychee. <laughs> We're Ti Chensu masters! No one is faster! <laughs> no one will be really fun. I'll sneak you into the palace for the big banquet next month. Yeah, that'd be great. We can... Oh, no. I just remembered. I'm moving at the end of the month. You're leaving? My dad's a rat chaser. We're always moving from one place to another. But you just got here. I know. But we have a whole month to play. Ready? Um, it's kind of getting late. I gotta go. I can't believe the Swiftlets left already. Great, everybody's leaving. Hey, they're cute. Oh, 
Aren't my mulberry trees beautiful this time of year? Oh, what is this hideous creature? These parasites are eating my mulberry trees. But you don't understand. Those aren't parasites. They're so... An infestation. But I... They must go at once. Have you guys seen Dogwa? I can't find him anywhere. He was here a minute ago. Ah! I'm afraid of bees. He didn't mean to bother you. He's probably just on his way to eat some flower nectar. See? When bees eat, pollen gets on their bodies. And when they go from flower to flower, the pollen gets spread, and that helps the flowers grow. How come you know so much? Well, me and my family travel a lot. We're moving again in a few weeks. <laughs> what is it, my lotus blossoms? Bees! Ah, bees! Help! Help! What's the matter? <laughs> A bee stung me on the hand! Oh, you poor dear! Cook, get me some salve! <laughs> Those vicious beasts! We'll make sure this never happens again, won't we, dear? Dearest! I want you to draft a new law immediately. From now on... I know, I know. The bees are banished from the palace. <laughs> oh, now the bees are gone, too. If this keeps up, we'll be the only animals left. <laughs> <laughs> But the flowers need the bees. That's right, Chigua. All of nature is connected by an invisible thread. Once you break it, things can fall apart. If we were the only animals left, it would be awful around here. Dongwa! Dongwa, there you are! Tichenshi Masters? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe next time. Dongwa, that wasn't very nice. What difference does it make? He's moving anyway. I know it's hard when friends leave. Especially Xiaobao. He was really fun, and it's hard to make new friends. You're right. But you know what? I'm sure it's pretty hard for Xiaobao, too. Especially moving all the time. Yeah, I guess. Let's see tonight's menu for the banquet. Bird's nest soup, imperial vegetables, roast duck, and cassia flower cakes. Yum! Makes you hungry, doesn't it? What's the matter with Dongwa? I think he's sad because Xiaobao is leaving tonight. I'm just not hungry, that's all. Uh-oh! I hope my new robe is as glorious as you promised. Your Grace, I must explain. <clears throat> Don't be modest. I'm sure it's the finest robe in all of China. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? It's not even finished. There's been a shortage of silk, Your Grace, since you banished the silkworms. Silkworms? You mean those ugly insects made my beautiful silk? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. There's still a wonderful meal to enjoy. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Mm. I've been looking forward to this delicacy all year. Bird's nest? Why, this is a simple broth. What happened to the bird's nest soup? A thousand pardons, Your Grace. But since the swiftlets were banished, there were no... Bird's nests for the soup. It must be time for the cassia flower cakes. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Mmm, that will make up for everything. But... 
there's something missing. It's so, so... Bland. I did my best, Your Grace. But there's no honey since you... Banished the bees. It, um, it was a lovely banquet tonight, wasn't it, my perfect peach? Well, yes, I, uh, <clears throat> guess it could have been better. It was a disaster, and it's all my fault. And yours. Oh, what am I saying? I've made a terrible mistake. Birds, bees, worms. I never stopped to think that my selfish needs would make such a mess. It's not too late, my fastidious fungi. We can always bring those creatures back. Yes, of course. We've got to send that message out tonight. We're so glad you changed your mind. Now we can have all the silk robes, honey, and bird's nest soup we want. <laughs> I know you miss those things. And you probably never even thought about where they came from. Unlike me. But, dear daughters, perhaps we should be less focused on what these creatures give us and think more about the delicate balance of nature that they help create. The message is all ready to go, but I'm afraid we'll have to wait until morning for the messenger to carry it to oh. the next province. There must be some way to deliver that message right now. It is time you were more than just the most beautiful bird in China. Do something useful around here for a change. Now go! Shoo, shoo! I can't wait for our friends to come back. I never thought any of them were ugly. I'm just glad Tai Tai changed her mind before it was too late. And they were gone forever. I thought you didn't want to be my friend anymore. No, I guess I just didn't want to say goodbye. This is for you. Whoa! Thank you, Dongwa! To Chen Shi Masters? No one is faster! <laughs> <laughs> What's all the fuss about? Whoa! I found a treasure map in the attic, Baba! A real one! Oh my, this takes me back. I drew this a long time ago, when I was Shigwa's age. Oh! Really? I had no idea it was so old. Old? Can you take us to find the treasure, Baba? Please? <laughs> I'm way past my treasure hunting days. Besides, whatever I put in that hiding place is probably long gone. But I want to go anyway. Oh, Shigwa, you're too little to go on a treasure hunt. You'd get lost. No, I wouldn't. I just can't imagine you being young, Baba. Huh? Tell me the truth. Do I seem old to you? Of course not. Your coat is almost as shiny as the day I met you. Almost? I really wish Baba would take us on that treasure hunt. Should we ask again? Not now. We're fixing this old kite. You want to watch us fly it? I always have to watch. Why can't I hold the string? You're too little, silly. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not a baby anymore. Shigwa, huh? time for your nap. <sighs> I can't wait to grow up. Do I really look this old? <clears throat> All I need is a little dab here and there to make this old coat shiny again. <clears throat> Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Notice anything? Why, you've done something to your fur. It looks, um, different. I feel great. Four years younger, at least. That's good. You'll need all that energy to finish writing these scrolls. Ah, oh, my work can wait. I feel like playing. <laughs> to Baba's hair. You know, I used to be pretty good at this when I was your age. <laughs> Whoa. That was really good, sir. Oh, don't call me sir. I'm not that old. What do you say? Are you up for a game? I don't know, Baba. We play pretty hard. What? You don't think I can keep up? <clears throat> not bad, huh? Ow. What are you doing? Hi, Fufu. Sogo and Dong was kind of stuck. I'm going to get it down. Hey, I'll fly up and knock it loose for you. No, it's a grown-up job. That's why I want to do it all by myself. I think it's coming loose. Whoa! Wait, I got you. <laughs> I've seen lots of backflip kicks before, but never followed by a landing on your head. Oh, embarrassed. Okay, who's ready for... Uh, more? Um, what about the scrolls, Baba? Yeah, shouldn't you be getting back to work? Who wants to spend the day working when we can spend it playing? Ow. Oh. 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 Who am I kidding? I'm not a kid anymore. Heads up! Huh? Sogwa's kite down from the tree all by myself. With just a little help from the wind. Pretty grown up, huh? Now can we go on the treasure hunt? The treasure hunt? Of course we can. What a fun idea. Um, are you sure you feel up for it, Baba? Are you kidding? I've got my second wind. Leader, I'm the leader. I get to go first. Fine with us. Yes, I remember. Frog Rock. See? That means we're on the right path to the waterfall and the treasure. I'll fly ahead and survey the area. Okay, troops. Keep in line. Follow me. Sogwa, I can do this by myself. Okay, okay. I was just trying to help. See? I did it. Hey, wait for me. I'm the leader, remember? Hup, two, three, four. I'm bored. Are we there yet? How should I know? I don't even know where there is. Hey, you guys want to learn a neat huh? trick? It's a duck call. Ah. Oh, sure, Baba. Like a duck is ever going to think that's real. Ah. Ah. I want to try. <laughs> that sounded more like a baby duck. Great news! The waterfall's just ahead! We're almost there! Come on, guys! Let's hurry up! Whoa! <laughs> uh. This is definitely the place. The treasure's down there, inside a tree. If you're going to stay leader, you better get in front of them. It's a very nice rock. I found 
find it in an old tree stump. We couldn't oh. find a secret hiding place in any of the trees. But we did find a plum tree in that field over there. Can we go get some plums? I'm hungry. No, it's late. I think it's time we head home. Wait, that's the old Baba talking. We don't want him around, do we? Yay, plums! No, you better stay here with Fufu. We'll bring some back. Oops. They're treating me like a baby again. It's not fair. Be careful! I just have to get to that next rock. Whoa! <gasps> whoa, whoa! Uh, I'll lift you up. No, I'll get out by myself. I better get some help fast. This was a lot easier years ago. A little help! Over here! I... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's Shigwa. I think she needs you. I can get to her, Baba. No, Dongwa. I need your help. We need to get this branch into the current. All together, push! It's all right. I'm here. What are we going to do now, Baba? Don't worry. We'll still manage to get down. Hang on tight to me. See? Everything's okay. I think I tried too hard to be grown up. I know how you feel. I think I tried too hard to be young. Baba, look! My hiding spot. <laughs> when I was your age, I couldn't wait to grow up too. So I hid my kitten collar, hoping everyone would stop thinking I was a baby. Wow! Really? When you're ready to take off your collar, you now have a special place to hide it too. Hmm. I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. No need to rush. But I'm proud of how you tried new things today, like being the leader. That's exactly how you do grow up. And you know what, Baba? Quacking like a duck is a good way to act like a kid. <laughs> you were amazing back there. How did you know to make a bridge with the branch? Well... Knowing things is the benefit of being old like me. Not such a bad thing after all, huh? Papa, I don't want to be the leader anymore. Can I ride on your back? Sure you can. <sighs> this is one thing I hope I never get too big to do. <laughs> 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 